coming to get your wounded. They're coming to get your wounded. They're coming to get your dead. They're coming to get your dead. Air phone ringer. Hear the mortars dropping. Hear the mortars dropping. They're dropping on our heads. They're dropping on our heads. The sergeant says I'm okay. The sergeant says I'm okay. But I know that we're dead. Air Lord Ranger Unit Help All right, three times together, drop arms and holler out. What time will you leave? We'll do it in that cadence. Ready? One, two, three. What time will you leave? Again. What time will you leave? Again. What time will you leave? Hey guys, remember how to do an about face? Yes, sir. Or would you rather do a. No, it's too hard to do because we haven't done drills. Okay, on my command. Troop, attention! Pull! About peace! I do have a signal. If there's a message you want to send, I am live streaming. We want to point out that that abomination on the hill was declared illegal already by the Obama administration and the Corps of Engineers. And yet this company, this corporation, which is determined to violate that agreement has decided it's worth them to pay the fine. And our question to the federal government is where the fuck are you? Because we're here. And the indigenous people have been praying for months for the white father to fucking come. We want you to come now. Now's the time. Oh, sure. Hell yeah, oh. hell yeah. So, folks, from a photographic perspective, options with that towards the front. Also, we've got a couple of nice banners. There will be more coming throughout the rest of the day. The sun through those stars and stripes with the profiles of your veterans 
as well as the profiles of the water protectors who have been here for months. Get them, get them. So also photography from the other side looking that way also looks magnificent. So please take the opportunity. <laughs> can, can I ask you a couple quick questions while I before I lose people's interest? Sure, you bet. Um, uh, first of all, what's your name? I'm Dave McGrath, David O. McGrath, last four eight three two four U.S. Army captain, but I couldn't find my captain's hat, so today I'm a lieutenant. Airborne Ranger, last unit was 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment, Fort Polk, Louisiana. And uh, where did you travel from? We came in from Idaho Falls. It's about a 12-hour drive. We came in through a snowstorm last uh, yesterday, and uh, we we have to go back at some point. Um, but all honor and respect to the water protectors who've been here from the start, drawing attention to this thing. Um, so uh, obviously I'm sure you've seen many of the videos that have been uh, circulating online, uh, whether it's rubber bullets or yeah. the water cannons. Uh, what, what is your plan if they decide to go that route again? Well, <laughs> it's the same plan whenever we're in a direct action. Most of the military is frankly a demonstration hoping that nobody does anything. Um, sometimes they decide to call our bluff, sometimes we call their bluff. And uh, our, our, our readiness is, frankly, to put our bodies and ourselves in harm's way. That's what the military has done. It's what those of us who are veterans continue to do on a daily job when we go back to our work. And today, this is the work. This is our vacation, and this is the work. This is what we do. In your years of military service, and I don't know how much that has been, uh, have you ever seen anything like the barrage of five to six hours of freezing water cannons uh, done in any other country, much less the United States? So the water cannons and so forth I've seen, the thing that I have not seen are things like uh, macing crowds. That actually violates the uh, law of Geneva warfare. Crew. Yeah, because it is a gas agent. It's illegal to do. We can't do it when we are soldiers ourselves in uh, battle. Uh, and yet our American uh, police and the, uh, the corporate entity over here and their hired uh, hounds uh, seem to do this against American citizens with impunity. And we want it to stop. I can tell you from experience, having been up on uh, Turtle Island, uh, there was one point where I was just uh, filming uh, three of the Native Americans who were shouting uh, prayers of peace yeah. um, up at the police. I saw them shoot tear gas canisters against the Geneva Convention directly at us. They actually hit the woman behind me, a woman by the name of Roxanne Thompson. Uh, she, she fell down, couldn't get up. Uh, that tear gas is no joke. Um, but so I, 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 I can assure you there, there's much lawlessness out here. I try to uh, warn anyone that comes, you have to be with a partner. Uh, they've confiscated uh, my, my phone, my cameras. I've been beaten up by Dapple guys. Everything under the sun. Um, so I brought my buddy. So <laughs> she has to bring the word back in so, case but, something goes down. Sure, but I, I guess what I'm driving at here is, uh, say one of these guys ta tackles you. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I mean, will it remain peaceful? Um, and I mean, in the case that uh, you know they start to use force or violence on you. When they start to use force or violence, it is no longer peaceful. But what will I? The that's question, the question is, everyone wants to know: yeah. Will you stay peaceful? Will you just? Well, I, I have a right to protect myself. Um, naturally, that that doesn't extend to the idea of resisting arrest. If we go up here and they decide to arrest us, I won't resist. I will be peaceful, but the witness is, is that they are not peaceful. 
They are the ones pushing the violence. This is an act of violence. Our presence is not an act of violence. Our presence is an act of humanity. So, am I peaceful? Absolutely. Am I peaceful when I approach their line? Yes. Am I peaceful when I place my hands on their barbed wire? I am peaceful. Can I do it with a prayer? Absolutely. At what point does the violence begin? It's their violence against my peaceful and determined stance to say no. Not on my watch. Okay, then last thing, I don't want, I don't want to monopolize your whole day. Uh, but the big thing that I'm trying to get out there is a little bit of rebranding. They call it the Dakota Access Pipeline, yeah. DAPL. I look at it as the Dakota Access Poison Line. Yeah, uh, I agree. And that, that carbon should stay in the ground. There's no question about well, it. Well, it's not just the carbon. It's really tar sands to thin it down. They have to put a Molotov cocktail of chemicals. And I want the American public to know that. America should look at Alberta and see what's going on up there. They're scraping it right off of the, off of the land. They're destroying the land. There is, you can see it from Google Earth. You can see all of the scraping and, and all of the, the water coming from the rivers to support the reprocessing it and refining of it. This stuff here is coming from North Dakota, the Bakken. The roads that are being thrown over otherwise virgin uh, farmlands, uh, <clears throat> the spills that are going on, it's an abomination. Uh, for years, uh, near my country, which is uh, eastern Wyoming, or western Wyoming, from the thing that activated me years ago is what had been going on in what was pristine national forest lands, BLM lands, and wilderness areas where uh, roads have been rammed through to get this sour oil out of the ground. Oil that should stay there. We have technologies that do not require us to bring that carbon and ultimately pass it through our engines and into the air. Thank you so much for your time and for your service. Thank you. I'm going to sign off. All right. Maybe All right. Signing off, folks. Uh, we're here at the barricade at uh, Standing Rock. As you can see, folks are gathered around here. Uh, we're at uh, this old army truck, which has been sitting here for a couple of weeks now. And uh, we got uh, folks down uh, by the edge of the bridge. That we're being warned that we'll be arrested uh, if we cross onto the bridge. And of course, we know from past actions that they are serious about this. Uh, so I'll be checking back in with everyone uh, as things develop. Uh, keep an eye out for what's going on here. God bless America.